Hello grade 4, this video is going to be on your homework on Sunday and Monday, namely the key vocabulary homework and the anchor text. Let's get right into it. So the key vocabulary homework looks like this. Um, not all of you guys did it, but some of you guys sent it back. We're just going to go through it sort of question by question. Anyway. Great guys, the first question was organisms. You had to draw a line to the corresponding pictures. So you had to draw a line to whichever picture was an organism. The first one had been done already. Um, an organism is an animal, plant, or single cell life form, i.e. bacteria. But that's a bit too complex. All you need to know right now is animal or plant. You guys should be doing this stuff or have done it already in science. But let's check out the first, the first one, a house. Is a house an organism? No. The next one looks like a plant. Yep, definitely an organism. Fourth one is a bird, which is definitely an organism. Next one is a car. Nice looking car, but unfortunately still not an organism. And the last one is a fish, which is an organism. Great job, guys. Most of you guys did really well on this. Let's move on. Great guys, the next question is, what things can negatively affect the air by making it unhealthy to breathe? Now, most of you guys got the answer straight from the text, which isn't wrong, but the answer was smoke, smog and smoke. Um, if you guys wanted to change it up a bit, use some other more specific examples, you could have said burning of fossil fuels. Um, a fossil fuel is things like coal and natural gas. I'm not going to go into how they're made. You guys potentially have done this in science. Another example could have been agricultural activities. Um, in agricultural activities, they use a lot of insecticides, pesticides, and fertilizers. And these, uh, the byproduct of using these, uh, it releases ammonia, which is really bad for the environment. But basically, insecticides and pesticides, kind of, you know, in the name it's given away, are meant to keep away insects and pests, anything that can eat or damage the crops. And then fertilizers, you guys should know, helps the crop grow, you know, tall and strong. The last one is exhaust from factories and industries. That's a pretty looking, uh, scary looking image. I think that was actually taken in England in the maybe in the mid 1900s. But from you know over time, the, the governments have placed a lot of laws in terms of what factories and industries can release in terms of uh, emissions. So things have gotten better in terms of climate change. But there was still, I mean, that's still a scary image looking at how much gas and how much pollution is being emitted from those factories. But anyway, guys, let's move on. Great, guys. Does this man still have traces of dirt on his hands? That was the next question. Um, the first picture you see on the left was what was given to his homework. And you can see he clearly still has dirt or oil or something on his hands. So there still are traces of dirt. The middle picture, are there still traces of dirt on his hands? No. And the last picture, you can faintly see a little bit of dirt. So yes, maybe a little bit of dirt traces are still there. Great guys, let's move on. Okay, can you name another habitat other than forests and oceans? So a lot of you guys got this right, but I mean the first one that comes to my head would be desert. Another one you guys could have used is mountain. There's also grassland and wetland. These are all habitats that animals and different types of creatures live in. Okay, does this picture have a variety of animals? So the picture on the left was the picture you guys got given. And yes, it does have a variety of animals. I mean, there's a cat, there's a bird, there's another bird, there's an, another cat, there's a snake, rabbit, turtle, dog, ferret, fish. So there's a variety of animals in the picture. Does the picture on the right have a variety of animals? No, it's just one animal. 
Can you name two things that are banned or forbidden in Iraq? Pork products such as pig, bacon, etc. are banned in Iraq. Great guys, this is the next piece of homework I gave you guys for the anchor text. This is what it looks like. We're going to go through it question by question again. Relatively easy. You guys didn't have too much struggle with it, too many problems with it. Sorry. Let's go into it. Author text. What is the title and author name? Title of the anchor text is Ecology for Kids and the author is Federico Arana. What two Greek words were joined to mean the study of the house? Oikos meaning house and logi meaning the study of. So most of you guys got that right. Good job on that. What does the word residence mean in the text? To study a house is to learn how its residents use it. Now, residence is referring to all organisms that live on Earth. This refers to all living things, plants, animals, single-celled organisms, etc. The house they are talking about is Earth. Now, if you're talking about your own house, the residents that are live in your house would be your mom, your dad, or whoever lives with you in your house would be the residents. So on Earth, the residents of Earth are all living things. Everything on Earth. Great guys, let's move on. Okay, just like the bear that lives in a forest but uses the lake to find fish to eat and water to drink, can you name another animal that lives in one ecosystem but depends on another ecosystem for food and water? I want to say thank you to Ahmed. I got this answer from him when he returned his homework. But he said, big cats so lion jaguar and leopards you see they don't live in the water but they hunt and rely on it for food sometimes okay name the seven continents i wonder if you guys would have gotten it right if i didn't put a picture there but it made it relatively easy most of you guys didn't have any troubles let's see the picture so north america south america europe Asia, Africa, Australia, and Antarctica. Good job, guys. How many oxygen does the Amazon rainforest produce? One third. That's 33.333%. How much of the earth is covered in seawater? Three fourths. That's about eight. That's 80% of the earth. You can see on the picture there. I mean, look at the picture. Look how, many, how much of the, the picture is actually earth and how much of it is water. It's quite a crazy sight, actually. Okay, the next question was quite straightforward. Name two marine animals, polar bear and seal. You guys could have got that straight out of the text. There's two pictures of the two different marine animals. Persuasive text. Okay. So opinion, we should protect our environment. Now, I just gave a few reasons. It's not necessary. It means it's the only right ones. It's just an example of what you guys could have wrote. Most of you guys got did it perfectly, but here's just an example. Number one, reason number one, there is no other planet that we have found that is suitable to support life. So we can't go live on the moon or we can't go live on Mars or Jupiter. There's not enough oxygen, there's not there's no water, etc. etc. Reason two, we should take care of our planet for generations to come so that they will have a beautiful place to live on. So generations, i.e., our kids, our kids' kids, etc. Reason three, to ensure the food we grow and eat is not contaminated but healthy. So if we're growing our food and contaminate it with contaminated water, it can make us sick, which isn't good. Great guys, that's the end of the part of the video. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys watched both the videos from yesterday. Let me know if you guys need any assistance with anything. Have a good day.